Good evening. Welcome to Coolidge Weekend. I'd like to tell you a little bit about yourselves, generally, before I tell you about us. As you may know, some 12,300 kids registered for the Coolidge. Some 2,300 completed our application. And a full 221 of you rank first in your class. And you were the ones chosen. The Coolidge Scholarship is a full ride, four year scholarship to any accredited university the student wants to attend. And we pay for room, board, tuition, and books for all four years. This weekend is the final step in the application process. We bring the 10 students and their parents from across the country to Plymouth Notch, the birthplace of President Coolidge, to get to know them better. And we give them an opportunity to interview with our finalist jury, and three will win. It is based entirely on merit, need blind, color blind, gender blind. I think the big mission of the Coolidge Foundation is to use Calvin Coolidge as an example truth, honesty, integrity, hard work, uh, caring about everybody. He was Silent Cal. He wasn't vainglorious. He said, the people should know the president is not a great man. Presider, not king. Our job is to get the message out about Calvin Coolidge. This is gonna change people's perception. You don't start when they're full grown. You start when they're in their formative stages. What a better place to talk about humility than right here at the gravesite of Calvin Coolidge. Some of the greatest things that have happened in this world have all been done anonymously. You don't hear about them. And so think about doing things that don't have immediate gratification with respect to compensation or stature because over time you'll be recognized for them. I want you to know how proud I am of all of you for being a finalist. And it's been all of our good fortune to be able to meet you. Thank you. Many of them, in their essays and in their writing, caught that same fire and that same energy that I caught when I started to discover Coolidge. To be completely honest, I knew the two pages of my history textbook. After applying, I researched a lot more and found what an underappreciated president I think he is. He was a president who was really guided by a philosophy and had really strong core values, and he was not willing to sacrifice them, but he could also work with the other side, which I think is a really great quality to have. I'm definitely nervous. I don't think it's possible for someone not to be nervous to walk into a room with such distinguished people. We're really curious to know what book that you've read has made the greatest impression on you, has kind of helped you mold your life. I'm thinking about myself at 16, I mean, I don't think I had a thought in my head. I think there should be more merit-based scholarships. You know, there are no extraneous factors. I mean, what we're looking for is pure academic excellence. Very nice to meet you. I'm really like a very naturally shy person. I've been shy pretty much my entire life. But doing debate has kind of helped me prepare for situations where I have to speak in front of a lot of people. And I think that as long as you just focus on the content, you're able to kind of ignore how important the situation is. I was born with a severe to profound hearing loss and I received cochlear implants. And through years of auditory verbal therapy, I've learned to be able to speak normally. This has taught me to always remain humble and grateful for any opportunities that I am presented. This weekend gave our Coolidge candidates a chance to mingle with policymakers. Governor Jim Douglas was there, the former governor of Vermont. Kurt Schmoke, the former mayor of Baltimore and now the president of the University of Baltimore. 
It's also business leaders, people who started as humble as our candidates and ended up with tremendous success. They are such esteemed people in public life that just meeting them was such an honor. Nervous is a good way of saying it. <laughs> nervous wreck, excited, but definitely very nervous. President Coolidge was one of the early pioneers of civil rights in this country. Calvin Coolidge actually was a speaker for a Howard University graduation back in 1928. That was an unusual event. Uh, many presidents did not uh, feel uh, the need to go onto the campus of a historically black college and university. It was Coolidge who, in looking around at, at the country, thought that we could do better. We have a huge representation of first-generation Americans who have applied for this scholarship, and I think it's terrific. Coolidge said, whether we came over three centuries ago on the Mayflower or three years ago in steerage, we are all in the same boat here. We have to help one another. He recognized the importance of work ethic that so many immigrants and first-generation families bring to this country. My dad came with $1.50 in his pocket from Kenya. He gets up at 5 a.m. every day and goes to bed at around 2. It's important to me to show them that all of the sacrifices for me have really had an impact. One of the main things that I wanted to get out of this trip was I wanted to meet everyone. <laughs> I have not been disappointed at all. Everyone's so amazing. I can't tell you how happy I am to, to look up and see our 10 students all crowded around one table. Thank you for a fabulous weekend. It's more than a dream come true uh, for me and for the foundation. Travel safe and uh, we'll be in touch with all of you and good luck. We were so impressed with the Coolidge candidates. There wasn't one we didn't think deserved the prize. It was just that currently we only have two or three to give away per annum. We're in the process of endowing the Coolidge now and we hope there'll be more every year. Much like the Rhodes Scholarship, this will follow them throughout the rest of their lives and connect them with President Coolidge. We're building a community and it's about much more than just the money, it's about the honor. And we are thrilled yeah. to offer you one of these scholarships. Oh, wow. We are pleased to inform you, Sam, that you have been selected as one of the three Coolidge Scholars. Oh, wow. <laughs> that means so much to me. The reason we're calling today is to give you some good news. Oh, my God! <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, that's, that's, that's amazing news.